I'm Frederica. I am 23 years old, studying uh, sustainable energy technology at the University of Twente. Right now we're standing in the grey building on that side and I'm going to be meeting Roger Ruma in this building, the EUV Green Room. I'm really looking forward to our visit, so uh, let's go meet him. Hi. Hello, I'm Roger. Frederica, nice Welcome. to meet you. So we take off our shoes over here. All right. So I have to put this over my head? Yes. So I get a different color than you? Yes, you are a visitor. Ah. Therefore, you are in dark blue. We want to make sure that all the people who are not familiar in the clean room yeah. uh, get escorted out in, an, in case of any uh, emergency. emergency situation. Okay. So it's not just enough to clean everything? I really have to wear all this? In the clean room, people are the biggest contaminating factor. Okay. Uh, our clothes, uh, they shed particles all the time. All these uh, particles, they end up in the machine and they get problems. Yeah. So that's why we have to cover up all the way. So I also have to cover my face and yes. my hands. You also need a face mask. Face mask, nice. Just put it up and then pour it down over your chin. So what we just passed through, what was that? It was a cleaning to make sure that our outside of the suits yeah. is also cleaned. That's okay, this place is really big. How do you keep it clean inside then? Yeah, so there are uh, cleaning teams which uh, clean the floors. They also clean uh, clean the cabins. And of course, uh, where you see here on the top, there are a lot of, uh, of these uh, square-shaped filters. And on the sides you see these, uh, these rosters. That's where the air is then circled back to the top being fed back into this filter. So, so it's quite imagine. clean inside. <laughs> yes, yes, it's quite clean inside. And the machine here is like assembled and then it's moved somewhere else? These are what we call the modules and we build it in three parts. The bottom, the mid and the top part. And this is the mid part of the system. So we build and test it over here and then we put it on these transport uh, containers yeah. and we use uh, air cushion to uh, transport it over the corridors. So, so it's like a hovercraft. Like a hovercraft, <laughs> exactly. So if you start rolling it on a pallet truck, yeah. you will completely destroy the floor. So the highway passes really close here. Does that not influence with the vibrations, the machine? We have put 1,500 poles of 23 meters long into the into the ground. Okay. And that's the foundation for the building. Nice. And the, there's a gap here in between the two walls. It looks like there's two different walls. Why is that? This is actually the return flow of the air conditioning. Oh, so you keep talking about air conditioning, but it's really warm inside. Actually, the temperature and also humidity in the clean room are tightly controlled. Working with nanometer accuracy. Yeah. If the temperature changes a little bit, all the metal parts in the machine oh, will also. Expand. So you have to make sure that everything is in the same, same temperature, temperature to keep it uh, nice okay. and stable. Okay, we can have a look at uh, one of our machines over here. But it says don't enter. Are we allowed inside? We use the entrance sheet for grade one. That's one of the most critical parts in the system. So if the system is open and optics are exposed, I will see this sign. Okay. And it's not a good idea to be. <laughs> For now, the system is in a grade four, so that means that there are no really critical parts exposed. But still, any time, we have to ask permission to go inside. Okay. Now, this is a complete system. So every cabin is now ex uh, equipped with a sensor. This is a kind of a tube which sucks in the air in the cabin. Mm -hmm. And then the particles which are in this air are counted here, you see some excursions where there are higher levels of particle. What causes these peaks? Is that people entering yes. or something? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh. You will see the start of the shift and the shift change and oh, the yeah. end of the shift. <laughs> How do you actually transport it to the customers? We break it apart again in the big pieces as we also build it. So in the end we need uh, six airplanes because uh, the machine is so heavy. So when the machine arrives at location it has to be put back together again and then do the calibrations and show that the performance is still the same as we had over here. Wow, that's a big operation. Yeah, it's uh, quite a challenge. Yeah. 
So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Yeah, I did. Thanks so much. I learned a lot about the clean room. Very good. Hope to see you again. Yeah, nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm keeping these as a souvenir.